Hey there, watching NCT Dream's MV Boom, you might have wondered, but why? What does that mean? What does it say? Or maybe you just don't care and just watch. But in any case I am part of the first category of person, so I searched and I found things, so I will explain my theory to you. So let's go for the first part, the artiste. This theory was born from the presence of this statue which can be seen in two folds at the very end of the MV and which closely looks like the sculpture, Perseus with the head of Medusa. His work was made by the sculptor Benvenuto Cellini. This detail is very important because it will allow us to create all the theory. Let's talk a little about this artist. He is a Renaissance sculptor who was very talented and quite famous but he was a bit of a wild guy, wanted to prove his superior talent, and also got into many conflicts during his life. When he was near the completion of his most ambitious work, the Perseus sculpture, the one that we see in the MV, he fell ill and incapacitated. A stormy and cold night, his assistants couldn't keep the bronze that was being used from being cloated as it cooled down, with the risk of losing his masterpiece. So he jumped from his near deathbed, shouting and ordering everything possible to be slung into the fire to raise the heat. Just in time, the heat started to rise and the sculpture was saved. Apart from sculpting Cellini was also was a musician, painter and writer and wrote his autobiography where he talks about this event, describing the passion that drove his art and life. Regarding to the MV, in the first part of the MV the boys are seen in suits, in a room decorated in Renaissance style, and outside a storm is unfurling. So I think this is the Medici's castle, and the storm represents the storm during the one Cellini finished his masterpiece. So we can suppose that all the member represent a part of Cellini, first Jamin as a writer. As he besides being a goldsmith, also wrote various texts, including his autobiography. Hei Chan is his challenger side, because we see him playing chess with himself as if he wanted to be even superior to himself. Run Jun as a painter. His is the painter side of him. Also he could be Michelangelo, the one Cellini view as his rival. We can see behind Runjuna painting, is not so clear but it looks like the painting from the Sistine Chapel, a famous Michelangelo's work. Geno is a fighter. I think like like all artists, he also has his moments of doubts and can be a tortured artist, which is why he fights against others but also himself and this is why he looks at himself in the mirror, as for face himself. Chonla is a pianist, he could be the musician side of Cellini. And the fact that we see Hei Chan, the challenger side of Cellini, with him marges me feel that he survey him as to make sure that he improve and he's the best. To finish Chisung is more complicated to define in my opinion. He has a sword and fights, but what? Maybe against the critics, or maybe it's a metaphor for the pen is mightier than the sword. When Jimin, Gino and Jisung encounter the photographers, they stopped and closed their eyes, maybe this refers to the way in which Cellini saw himself, very popular, and admired by all. Moreover it is in the eye of Renjun that we see that, and Renjun is one of the faces of Cellini. There are others few details that put us on this path, such as the flames that we see frequently, or the fact that the members often overlap the images to form one. But now let's move one to the second parts. NCT Dream We fear to see that several things inexplicable by the first part, can be explained by the second. This MV also tells things about NCT Dream the group itself. We can notice that only Hikan is duplicated on the same image, which could refer to the fact that and in Dream and in 127, we can also notice that he is shot or Gino turns towards the wolf which was their symbol on the previous comeback with we go up. Then we can see this plan where Chen is looking at a burning rose in a previous scene, for me the fire and the rose represent passion or a new beginning. And you can see that only the OO line is there with Chen, because they are the ones going and passing the torch to him or it could be like a ceremony for the coming of age. Jian and Chen were running up the stairs of the stadium, Jian behind him even tripping, unable to reach Chen, 
representing their age difference and graduation system. Finally we can see Ji Sung blowing the candle from his birthday, graduation alone and all of them together in a circle of flowers, only Ji Sung in a different position as he is the last one to graduate. At this time when the MV boom came out, the dream unit was still working with the age system, so it wouldn't be surprising if there were all these little references to member ages. After thinking about it I thought that the two parts of this theory couldn't just be unrelated, so I thought about it and I thought that NCT Dream was like Shalini. And that they were perhaps using Shalini's story to tell theirs. That it was not lightning that harmed them but haters, it is not the Medici that must be impressed but their agency and an audience. That indeed there are other competing groups and that they must do better so as not to disappoint. Also in the lyrics of the song we can hear phrases that refer to their idol profession such as even my breath is like music on stage, I don't have time to play sitting next to you or I want to be the winner in every story which can refer to their need for superiority. This music also speaks a lot about the fact that they fulfilled their dream and that now they are on the top. It is possible to model these words on the story of Cellini who had as a dream to be a recognized sculptor and which we appreciate. Work, and thanks to his work on the Medusa, his dream came true.